And now weather with Brandy Erickson on KPBI News 6, your news source for East Idaho. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. Here is a live look outside. A beautiful shot of the Portneuf Valley. Just a few passing clouds. The sun is just starting to rise. We actually have temperatures right around the lower to mid 40s this morning. So not too bad as you walk out the door. We are going to start to see more cloud cover. Increasing clouds is your forecast for today with a slight possibility of moisture. So we do have a chance of some of those thunderstorms popping up because the changes in pressure and temperature. Uh, mainly though cloud cover today and then more of the showers tomorrow with this lower pressure. We're also seeing a lot of moisture already for California up and through Oregon as well, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Right now let's take a look at the satellite map. This is a great map to show you just the cloud cover. It's like taking a picture from space. You can see all of the bright white heavier clouds moving in. We're just now starting to see more cloud cover in the valley. We've actually been nice and clear since midnight and then our radar map also has been clear. Nobody in the valley or up or lower Snake Highlands have received moisture over the last 24 hours. 70 and 72 are the expected highs today. 42, 39 the overnight low. So average temperatures are in the 50s. We're expecting 70s. We could tie and break records once again like we did yesterday. Precip total since midnight dry. Your sunrise this morning 658, 652 and our sunset about 809 and 807. Satellite radar map of the nation you can really see with this map and the radar all of the moisture that's happening due to the lower pressure in California, even some rain and snow, that combination in the upper portion of California in the mountains area in the mountain areas. And then we also have some showers lingering in Nevada. This is all expected to continue to move into Idaho. We have some clear, beautiful conditions for the Midwest, and then a few showers lingering in Oklahoma up and through Kansas. Also in the southern states, we'll start to see some more moisture move into parts of Mississippi today. New England area, not too bad, a few showers. Uh, mainly snow showers actually in the western portion of the New England area, but we are going to see more showers move in. We have a low pressure system over that way. Everybody though dealing with some pretty decent temperatures, above average temperatures, especially for the middle portion of the country. Partly sunny skies is your forecast for today. A slight chance of thunderstorm activity in the afternoon. 70 in Pocatello. Expect wind speed to really pick up in the afternoon. 72 Idaho Falls, 73 in Rexburg, 72 in St. Anthony, and a 30% chance of rain with mostly sunny skies also in the mountains and highlands. 62 Island Park, 67 in Driggs, 64 in Soda Springs. Tonight, a chance of rain and more storms with mostly cloudy skies. The wind will remain 40 degrees in Pocatello, 39 in Blackfoot, 37 Idaho Falls, 38 in Rexburg, and 38 in St. Anthony. And then showers and storms, mountains and highlands tonight, gusty winds, 32, so right at freezing. Possibility of even some rain and snow. Island Park, 33, Driggs, 37, 34 in Arco tonight. A 30% chance of rain tomorrow. This is really when the system will be getting a lot closer to us. 51, we drop down in temperatures from the 70s to the 50s, so do expect gusty winds. A 30% chance also in Blackfoot at 52. 52 degrees tomorrow in Idaho Falls, 53 with rain in Rexburg, and then a 40% chance of snow, cooler and windy in the mountains and highlands. 43 Island Park, the high in Driggs, 44, 42 in Soda Springs, 46 in Arco, and about 58 in Salmon. Getting to our six day forecast, we are going to see some changes with the showers Thursday, Friday, and even a slight possibility on Saturday. But as we move on into Sunday, we start to see things rebound. So back into uh, the 60s by Monday, it will gradually stop raining on Sunday. Idaho Falls, the same type of pattern. We'll see temperatures moving right up into the upper 50s by Sunday and then 62 on Monday, but a pretty decent day today. 72, a slight possibility of some storms.